This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to show you just how quickly the temperature rises within a car and how you can recognize the signs of heat stroke in your dogs. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Today's video is slightly different in that I'm choosing not to use a dog or a cat or any other associated animal and I'm going to use myself as the, the guinea pig. It's especially hot uh, here in British Columbia, the part of Canada where I live. We're currently experiencing the heat wave. The temperature is upwards in the high 90s, and, you know, that's sort of 36, 37, 38 degrees Celsius. Um, really, really, really hot. Unusually hot uh, in the area where I live. So even more so, the risk of heat stroke arising. What I want to do is show you a vehicle. It happens to be by my vehicle, just in behind us. It's currently got the air conditioning on. It's starting to cool down. I'm going to go in there. We're going to sort of. I got a big thermometer so you can actually see the temperature of what it's going to be when I first get in there. And I'm going to have the window slightly down, and I'm just, just going to show you just how quickly it can rise. Um, so the temperature may be sort of comfortable, kind of mid 70s, because the air conditioning's been on. But you're going to see just how quickly it can reach up, and that's going to cause a dramatic change in your pet's body temperature if they're left inside. So the reason I'm doing it, it's still not uncommon. Someone's going to zoom downtown. They want to pick something up. They're like, fine, I'll just the air conditioning is on. I'll just leave my dog in here for a couple minutes. The window's kind of cracked. I'm going to show you why you should never be doing that because it just rises so so quickly, leading to heat stroke in your dog. So you guys, as you can see, it is 4:13. I'm going to put the windows up most of the way, and I'm going to stay in here for a full 10 minutes. The air conditioning's been on in my vehicle. Well, it's pretty comfortable. It said it's, as you can see right here, it's saying it's 25 degrees Celsius, which is sort of 70, sort of 78-ish degrees Fahrenheit. So, you know, it's not cool, but it's still comfortable. So imagine I've just driven downtown, I've taken my dog with me, I'm just gonna leave him in for a couple minutes. So I'm just going to put the window up and I just want you guys to see just how quickly that temperature is going to rise. Window's going up. Air conditioning's off. It's now, as you can see, it's 414. But you can see that it's actually gone up to 415. I'm gonna wait 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna wait till 425. Currently the temperature, which is still pretty good. It's, well, it's just gone up to 80 now, and that's been only, you know, there, been maybe a minute. So let's run away for a full 10 minutes. And, you know, as it goes on, I'll give you a little update as how I'm feeling, how quickly it rises. So now, 415, 419, it's been four minutes. Maybe you guys can. Wow. Temper's gone up, it's must must be like 93 now. You remember it sort of started in the mid 70s like four minutes ago it's like 30 what is that 32 34 yeah it's about 34 degrees celsius holy cow yeah and, I, and i'm feeling hot so that's been four minutes in a vehicle my sweating you know if i was a dog i'd be excessively panting now um and now is probably as good as any to talk about some of the signs of heat stroke. So the most common thing you're going to see for any animal that's in distress, the early signs of heat stroke, is they're panting and they're panting excessively and uncontrolled. It's just... It's the only real way, you know, via evaporation that they can lower their body temperature. So normal body temperatures is 101.5 plus or minus a degree. Um, so anything past 105 is considered hyperthermia or heat stroke. So that's 41.5 or 4 degree, 42 degrees Celsius and up. 
So just remember the number 105. Anything 105 and higher um, is heat stroke. So remember guys, I started at 415. It is now 422. So it's been seven minutes and it's really hot. Like I am hot and I am sweaty. Um, it's now gone, I mean, I can't believe it was in the 70s. Um, it's passed well into the 90s. Like if you look how hot it's gotten in seven minutes, it's gone for, was it in like 77 or something? It's now sort of in the high 90s. It's getting close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, like crazy. Um, within seven minutes, I had no idea it would rise that much. I mean, everybody talks about a, you know, so that's, been, that's nearly 20 degree rise in not even 10 minutes. So I'm really starting to sweat and I'm feeling a bit lightheaded. So as animals progress with heat stroke and it goes sort of from 105 and higher, this excessive panting to the point they can no longer cool their body systems adequately. The next thing you're gonna see is all this excessive drooling or salivation. And these guys are weak and trembling and it's not uncommon to find these guys almost lying on their side. Um, so it, it starts to affect every virtually body system. So it's, it can be affecting your brain leading to seizures. It can affect your your kidney, your liver, all the rest of your organ systems. When the body temperatures rises too high, nothing else can function properly. So first, if you're to see a dog in any type of distress such as that, I mean, the first thing, you gotta get him out of that vehicle. The second thing, you gotta adequately cool them down. Holy cow, am I ever hot now. So we're at, right now we're at four, right, we're at nine minutes. So I've been in this vehicle since 4.15, nine minutes later, like I'm really sweating and I'm like smoking hot. Got the windows cracked and we're at like, look at that. 98 degrees Fahrenheit in nine minutes. And I started out at about like 77. Holy moly. Yeah, I, I had no idea to rise so much so quickly. So you, if you see a dog in that distress, you gotta get him out of the vehicle. Um, and, and they're, especially if they're excessively panting and drooling, um, they, need, they need to have their body temperature cooled down, not too rapidly, but it means if you can get wet towels, if you can get them into a creek, so be it. Just think about the, these big arteries that are in their groin, uh, they're in their armpits, kind of submerged them up to that level would be the I ideal. Um, you can get cold towels on there, get a fan on there. We're trying to cool their body temperature, get it at least under 105, and then get them to a veterinary clinic as soon as possible because their body temperature needs to be brought down. Um, their blood pressure needs to be brought back up. They need to be hydrated with, with IV fluids. Um, it's not something you're just gonna do at home. But it's, the big point of this video is one, you recognizing the signs of heat stroke. Uh, to just seeing just how quickly it can happen in a hot car like I am really really sweating now I think it's been just barely 10 minutes here it is here It's 425. It's just been 10 minutes So now in that 10 minute period there it is. It's gone up to hundred degrees Fahrenheit It's went from like sort of 77 the high 70s up to 100 it climbed like 23 degrees in the span of 10 minutes like I'm really sweating now and I don't feel super great just being in this long car. You know, I've still got the windows cracked. There's supposedly some airflow. And obviously our dogs are gonna feel some of the same things. They're gonna feel dizzy, kind of lightheaded. Things aren't really clear. Um, they can't sweat excessively, so they're panting excessively. You wanna make sure that they're not, you know, kept in a lot vehicle that you never, you know, if you're gonna, during this time of year, if you're doing anything at all, just don't be taking your dog your pet with them. The last thing you want to be doing is leaving them in a hot vehicle. Um, and secondly, too, just knowing you see a dog that's panning, they're in distress, they probably got heat stroke, get them out of that vehicle as soon as possible. Uh, cool their body temperature down if you can. Get them to a veterinary clinic as fast as you can. Wow.